New details are emerging in a high-profile DUI case. Kansas Senator Gene Solentrop was arrested after he was caught speeding going the wrong way at a high speed on I-70 last year. And tonight we're learning that that Republican senator, who will be leaving office, was also released early from his probation. 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung is live at the State House. So, Rebecca, what's the latest on this case? Well, David, court records show that Solentrop was ordered to serve about a year's worth of probation, but he only served up to seven months before being released earlier this year in July. Now, according to the records, this is for complying with the terms of the probation up to that point, but it's still unclear who will take his seat next year in the Senate. Kansas Senator Gene Sullentrop, a Republican from Wichita who was at the center of a high-profile DUI case last year, says he's not returning to the state Senate. A communication spokesman for Senate leadership says Sullentrop revealed his plans in an email Wednesday. He will be leaving office January 2nd, also leaving his spot in the Senate wide open. And political experts say there could be some potential picks. So one is actually the former... Senate Majority Leader Terry Bruce. If he was picked, he'd be coming in with a lot of legislative experience. The other name that's come out is Chase Blazy. Chase Blazy is actually a staffer who's worked in the Senate. This is somebody that actually knows the, the inner workings of the state Senate and would be a new face, but someone that could argue. I know how all this works. I don't need to have had the experience that Terry Bruce has had. Solentrop was arrested for speeding the wrong way down the highway in Topeka last year. He was released early from probation after pleading no contest to a DUI and reckless driving. Now the attention has shifted to filling his slot in next year's legislative session. It will be up to GOP party members in Solentrop's precinct to find a replacement. Let's be honest, it's a pretty easy way to get into the state Senate. You don't have to raise money. You don't have to go door to door. And if there's a lot of candidates, it could mean somebody could be elected with very few votes. Now, we also reached out to the Sedgwick County GOP to see if there's anyone they're eyeing to fill Sullentrop's spot.